In this video, I got my favorite augment combo. So we got Pandora's items combined with makeshift armor. So you can basically just only build the damage items and you're still super tanky because all those tanks, guess what? They get makeshift armor. So yeah, that's what we like to see. And I'm just gonna apologize here off the bat. I'm a bit sick, so you can probably hear that in my voice. In Sweden, there's like a sickness going around because it's winter and... Yeah, you get the drill, but yeah, I just really wanted to get this video out, but uh, yeah, it might sound a bit different. But hopefully in uh, in the next video, I will be 100% back, so yeah, that's what we'd like to see. So here off the bat, I already have a Silas 2 star, so good stuff. Uh, we also got a Nasus, so yeah. If we only get one more anima, then we can get that in, or perhaps we can get some renegades. Let's see. So, since I already had the Silas 2 star, I'm just gonna take that hero augment right there. Uh, so, we, that's really good with like MF, you get more mana. Where all the, your, your entire team gets 30 uh, bonus mana with this hero augment. So, that's good. MF getting her first cast off. Or like Diego, he, he has 40 mana, I believe. So, he will cast instantly with his starting mana plus this and right now we just still lose three things because we don't really have a board so let's just make 10 here make econ so we're not really planning to win here and holy that's a lot of animas right there nice don't mind if i do so i <laughs> since i'm sick i didn't want to use the face cam so you get some butter stock footage instead <laughs> So at least we're killing some units since we have 2 stars, so that's good, trying to preserve some HP, oh can we kill the GP, ah, too close man, but not close enough, when you try your best but you don't succeed, kills, bad man, let's see it, yeah, hopefully we can just kill the front line, then I'm happy. Okay, one unit dead. Nice. Oh. Okay, no. <laughs> I thought we were gonna win for a second, but nah. Looks is kinda cracked. So let's see. What do we get here? Probably just go for the Riven. Just so we can get Anima. Yeah, so we can start stacking anima and we can just put the vein items on Riven as a temporary item holder. Kinda awkward, but uh, yeah. <laughs> we basically took her for the BS sword as well, since we have some vein items. So, this will just be our awkward item holder for now. <laughs> yeah, feels kinda weird, but uh, it will work for now. Yeah, this man was just super tanky, that Ramus 2 star is really broken in the early game, even got a war mode, so... A lot of help combined with that armor is just gonna make him unkillable. And this is a Ash reroll, really strong pump as well. Yeah, that Talon is just gonna die. <laughs> At least we killed one unit, right? Better than nothing. I'm just gonna sell the Jinx so we can get the Econ there. Okay, let's see what we get here. Okay, there's a Morello. Yeah, I guess we can put in Nyla as a Morello item holder. Oh, I switch it to MF later. Just slam stuff to save HP. As long as you have a plan for the future, it's all good. I kinda entered my Nyla positioning, but uh, she cast it in the middle, so. Never punished. Ooh. 
Yeah, that was too close, man. Yeah, we're just going for the Pandora's items here. I like it. So we got a rod there, so that's probably gonna get the... Put on the bench, you know, when the reroll until we get another BF sword or something. We just gotta put in some defender. And we're gonna put the Nyla in the middle so she get that healing value to the units, as well as uh, getting the Morello pro. Yeah, now we're actually pretty strong. I mean, the board is still kinda awkward, but we're just uh, trying to make the strongest board as well as making as much econ as possible, basically. And finally, we get that vein, so we're gonna say bye bye to Riven, and we're gonna put in the vein. So now we can get some good items here, kinda BIS to be honest. Infinity Edge with the Rumans, pretty good stuff. This guy's strong though, at least we got the Morello onto his tanks, but is it enough? That is the question, I don't think it is. At least we got a pretty good loss here. Maybe the Runas can kill Ash? Ah, not quite. And, and uh, I just wanna take a second to thank you all guys for uh, uh, like the success of my latest videos really cool to see that you guys uh, enjoyed my latest video so I'm uh, trying to replicate what I did there since you guys uh, enjoyed it so much so yeah I really appreciate that just wanted to throw that out Ooh. let's see what the MF here can do so now we got five anima squad so that's a big spike, and we have two Silas's in the board because, I mean, they're two stored, we didn't have anything better to play. Plus, we have the hero augment on him, so... We're gonna mana reeve a lot of people. And as you can see, the like, uh, 30 bonus uh, starting mana from the hero augment is really nice, right? It gets MF to cast really early and proc that Morello. Otherwise, I don't think Morello is really good on MF, but here, since she casts so early with the Silas augment, I think it's okay. Okay, didn't cast so early there, but <laughs> he had like no frontline. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of BF sword. I tried to save it. The <laughs> I tried to build a death play there, but I didn't have the time because uh, the round was ending, so I couldn't save the other component. It was like one millisecond away. Feels bad, man. But it's okay. The BF will come back. Just a minor setback. All good. Get some copium, to go copium <laughs> going. So my strat here is just build all the AD and AP items on MF and Vayne and Seek on uh, Jinx and then we just uh, don't build any... Uh, what's it called? Uh, tank items since we have the makeshift. Oh, what a shot, man. Hello, Mortal. I see you, buddy. Three veins in one shot. I have the sheet codes, guys. Just hit me up if you need some good shop odds. You just gotta hit, man. The more you hit, the better as a player you are, right? There's a direct uh, link between uh, just hitting <laughs> and your skill. No luck involved. You just gotta hit.
I really feel like TFT, either you like hit everything or you don't hit anything. Like you have th those games where you hit like everything uh, and you're super lucky and th then you have the games where you like, you don't hit anything. You guys feel me or is it just uh, my take? And that's a big Renekton. Holy. But he's also put in the grave now. So he was big. Ooh, I kind of want a spatula so we can be like, yeah. Nah. I should just take the vein there. So that's another vein with a sword on her. So we can use three star vein and then we get the death blade, right? So I decided just to take it so we get the... One vein closer to the goal of uh, restoring her. And that's early Leona. 1% Leona. So yeah, don't mind if I do. So we can play like Echo with Prankster with Jinx. And then you get Aegis with Leona. Use anything to put in that unit. It's kind of crack. <laughs> oh, I respect that GP build. That's really fun. Recon GP. He just jumps as soon as he queues. That's pretty funny. Oh, and we're literally just one Silas away, but I'm not like gonna roll for just Silas, so yeah, that's why I'm leveling up. It's not worth getting baited by like a one cost free star. Decided just to slam the tier there, so we, we're gonna greet it out for a spray of Sojin. By the way, look at his offers, man. Just chilling, living their best life. This is the most broken animal, right? Amazing creature. So I decided, huh, I don't, I don't, I only want like a what's it called, a BF deer for the Spirit Origin. So I just took a random items quickly, so it could get re-rolled. So I just took the item from the anvil and. Quickly, so it could get rerolled since I didn't get the BF sword. Kind of OP strat. I kind of wanted to be like a as whisper, but Vayne Childress already has uh, built-in uh, two damage, so I feel like it wasn't necessary. So I don't know what like my last items gonna be. I could build tank items, it's not bad, but I'd rather build like some um, what's it called? Maybe some seeks, some wolves. Maybe a zephyr if I'm going rat mode or shroud, but yeah, I'm feeling seeks, we're going the fun route this game. Ooh, another vein. Lovely. So we're only two veins away, but we're kinda broke as well, so. Not good. So that's the first six. Boom. We still have that BF on the vein, so that's why I don't have a third item on her. <laughs> Feels kinda weird, but sooner or later we're gonna get that the three star vein with three items. See what this carousel has to offer. So this is kind of awkward. We have the item on vein. I really want the death blade. I don't want a separate vein, so we have to sell this vein. Actually, that's 
a feels bad moment, but yeah. Because the Zephyr is gonna get to Vayne before the um, two BF swords, so she's gonna get a Zephyr instead of a Death Blade, so... Yeah, we had to settle there. At least we got the Zephyrs. It was kind of a rat item, but I felt like it was essential this game, since we have makeshift, so we just get some support items instead. No tank items allowed. Obviously you can like build tank items if you build multiple on one guy, but yeah, I went for the memes this game. And that's the Silas, finally. <laughs> Only took six stages to get that Silas. See what the anvil has to offer. Oh, a six. I like that. I'm down for a six. Okay, let's roll down for the vein. Surely we hit, right? No way, we don't hit. So here I was kind of debating if I should build a sack over Sejuani. Decided to go for the Sejuani since she gives uh, Brawler and the Brawler with Anima is gonna be a really good uh, scaling. So uh, Riven gets HP from Anima and that scales percentagely up with uh, Brawler. So yeah, decided to go for the Sejuani instead of Sack. Oh, this is looking pretty close. Now we're actually gonna lose here. Feels bad man. Okay, surely we'll hit this uh, Bane. Any time now, please. Hmm. Okay, we're at uh, eight veins. That's uh, kinda rough. At least we got a nice Zephyr deer, and we got the Seeks on veins, so we got some pretty good positioning. Except this. Ooh, the Echo baited my MFL. Well played there. Don't know if it was intentional, but if it was, well played. And that's a Leon ulti on the tank. It's gonna melt through the tank. And now it's only the Kaiser left, and she's gonna be dead. Ooh, finally we got the <laughs> Vayne. Only took six and three stages. <laughs> Alright. So that's a big spike. Now we got the Death Blade as well. And we got the three items on her. That's what we like to see. And we got the Zephyr as well, this round, so that's really good. And MF got a nicer ulti. So yeah, I think this guy is just gonna be dead. Yeah, bye bye. Um, I'm done for you, said the Willis Pat, since uh, we just do everything to buff this uh, vein right and make her correct. <clears throat> so we're just gonna put that on Jinx. So this Jinx has a lot of attack speed. <laughs> and this Vayne is just uh, getting two six and she has the Duelist as well as full damage. So she's just gonna hit like a truck now. Oh, but this speed is gonna Morello apply on everyone. So it's looking a bit close. At least MF has a nice ulti angle, hopefully. Yeah, she's gonna ulti through everything, look at that. And then... Oh, Vayne actually died. Okay, Jinx, the secret carry of this team. <laughs> the Jinx is the real MVP, apparently. 
Okay, so yeah. On to the final fight right here. Let's just try to get a nice Zephyr. I think I failed it though. <laughs> try to bait him, but I just baited myself. But I think this is gonna be a clean wipe. But anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, this is gonna be a big MFLT. So yeah, I think that's a win. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more TFT set 8 content. And leave a like. It helps me out on YouTube and I appreciate it. Have a great one everybody. Peace out.